Okay, so in the last video, we talked about force couple systems, and I made a note in that video, and I said that a force couple system is simply a tool that we can use in our analysis to solve problems in, in vector statics. Now, I didn't really explain why this force couple system works, just what it was. So we know that if you have some body here and, in, and it's subject to all these external forces, we can study that set of forces right here and we can convert it to an equivalent uh, force couple system, which is the resultant vector of all those forces and a moment. Now, I told you that this is equivalent to this, but I didn't explain why. And so I wanna make this video very quickly explaining why this actually works and hopefully that will make things a lot clearer and maybe it just might blow your mind. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all of this and let's see why this works. So there is going to be, this is kind of theoretical, but it's, it's very simple to follow. So imagine you have an equation here on the right and this is a very simple term or a very simple equation. So x plus five is equal to nine, right? This is a very simple algebra problem. You would just subtract five from both sides and you would get x is equal to four. Okay, simple enough. The cool thing about algebra is that you can do whatever you want on one side of the equation so long as you also do it on the other side of the equation. So for an example, if I added three to the right side of the equation, I also need to add three to the left side of the equation. And this works because these two threes cancel out. They are effectively zero. They don't have a direct effect on what the end result of X is going to be, right? Nine plus three is 12, 12 minus three is going to be nine. And then you subtract five from nine, you get four, just like we did in the original problem. This is the same thinking that we need to apply to this set of forces to get this equivalent moment and force. So instead of looking at this complex example, let's look at something very, very simple. So imagine, imagine you have a beam right here and it is a pin on one side and a roller on the other side. And really the reactions don't matter because we're not looking at reactions. We're looking at the equivalent or the set of forces. Now, imagine at some point on this beam, you have a force that's acting downwards. And I'll just say that is F. Now, if you wanted to move this force F at to another location on this beam, so you can move it over here or over here or even over here, what you really are doing is you're doing this equation, but in terms of engineering. So I know that sounds confusing. Let me explain visually. What I want to do is I want to effectively add zero to this system right here. So let's say that we wanted to move this force from its original location or its current location to this side of the beam. So this side, I will just call point A, and that's just right there. This side is point B. And what I can do is I can say that at point A, I'm going to add force F, and I'm also going to subtract force F, right? This is exactly what we're doing in this equation right here, where I added three to one side and I added three to the other side. This effectively is zero, right? At point A, if you have the same force going down and the same force going up, these two cancel out and they are zero. Now, the cool thing here is that because we're just dealing with the vertical direction, I can say this force and this force cancel out or, or here's the mind blowing part, I can say that this force and this force cancel out. And what we're effectively left with is this force right here. However, you can see that this force right here, the original force and this force right here, the two forces that canceled out, they still have some kind of an effect on the system. And we need to replace those two forces with a moment. And that moment is going to be caused by this force and this force. So these two forces right here are a couple and they are going to cause a moment. Well, what is that moment? It's 
F times D, right? Remember from the last couple videos, we talked about the moment of a couple, and we ended up with this very simple equation where if you have these two forces, they're equal and opposite, and they're parallel, and blah, 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 and there's a distance D between them, it's just going to be F times that distance D. And that's exactly what we have going on here. We have these two forces, they are some distance D away from one another, and so what you're really left with is that same moment at point A due to this original force, which is really just F times D. And so because we did this cool magic trick right here, what we're really left with is this M moment here at point A and this F vector right here. And this right here is the equivalent force couple system of this original force, right? We took this original force, we effectively added zero right here, and because this became a couple, we replaced that couple with this moment right here. So this force F is equivalent to this force and this moment right here.